Televisions are getting so fancy that they come framed like artwork. I'm Bridget Carey and this is your CNET Update. This week we're learning about many new gadgets, computers and televisions at a tech show in Berlin called the IFA or IFA as some say. Lenovo is rolling out with new PCs and major updates to its yoga tablet laptop hybrid. There's the IdeaPad Flex 14 which bends its screen back by 300 degrees so you can prop it up just to use the touch screen. If you want more flexibility there is the IdeaPad Yoga 2 Pro and the ThinkPad Yoga, which both fold flat. Or you can go big with the IdeaPad Flex 20-inch portable all-in-one. We're seeing more computers act like oversized tablets. Lenovo is also making a 7-inch Android tablet called the IdeaTab S5000, and that's coming out in December. The latest television technology is 4K, or also known as ultra-high definition, and Philips just unveiled its first model, and it also glows from behind the sides with technology called Ambilight. It involves rows of small lights around the back of the TV, casting a soft glow against the wall that complements the colors on the screen. But like most ultra high def TVs, you'll be paying more than five grand for one. And if you're going to show up big bucks for a high end TV, there's also LG's new OLED television, the Gallery, which comes with a picture frame and speakers nestled behind it. You can see the speakers when the canvas is cut away. OLED screens are in some smartphones and tablets, but only now is it being made for televisions. So with a picture this good, I guess LG figures you want to frame it. There have been some interesting add ons for smaller screens as well. Unveiled at the show was a new type of case for Samsung's Galaxy S4 smartphone. The new Pocketbook S4 case has a built-in e-ink screen, which could be handy for people who frequently read on their smartphones but don't want the eye strain and it saves on battery life, but no price or sale date was given. Outside of the show, Microsoft announced that the Xbox One will launch on November 22nd and stores are taking pre-orders now for the $500 game console. It'll be out exactly one week after Sony's PlayStation. PlayStation 4. We're continuing to learn little details about the PS4 and Xbox One. For example, it was revealed that the Xbox One can support eight controllers at once, but the PS4 will only work with a max of four controllers. That's your tech news update. For more on these stories, head to CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.